Hi everyone, it's Jill Foster here for Penny Black. Thanks for joining us today as we take a peek at a few new products from Penny Black's newest collection, Be Merry. This is the second in several Take a Peek videos, which we will be sharing over the next couple of weeks. All of our new products from this collection will be available in our online store beginning August 11th. And before we begin, I just wanted to mention that this video is designed to help you just take a closer peek at our new collection and share some tips and hints as to how some of the cards were created. But don't worry, we will also have instructional videos coming soon that feature some of these new products and card designs. And if you're looking for a how-to tutorial or card making demonstration right now, be sure to scroll through the videos here on our YouTube channel, as there are many that feature techniques that could be used with these new stamps and dies too. So today we'll be taking a peek at some of our new creative dies. I think all of these today are so amazing and I loved using them as focal points on my holiday cards. As a side note, before we go any further, on the next slide you will see a complete list of all product numbers used on screen in light gray. Once this release is made available on August 11th, any of those product numbers can be searched in the Penny Black online store or the website, which I have linked for you down in the description on the YouTube box below. This first die set is our layered Christmas wreath. This die cuts a small circle to which you can then adhere the branches, berries, and leaves in order to design your very own holiday wreath. I've used lots of layers on my wreath, but I think this would also look stunning with just a few branches on one section of the circle, or you could use just one style of leaf or just the berry branches for a totally different look. The possibilities are really endless with this set. I colored my die cut pieces with Copic markers, and as you can see, I couldn't help but to add a stamped bird peeking out. A little hedgy or a cat stamp would be fun too, or a small elegant se sentiment in the center. This next die, Stitch a Snowflake, is also one of my favorites from the new collection. I love the large size and the details of the holes. You can use those holes to add hand stitching to the snowflake, or you can leave it as is, which is what I chose to do. On my card, I cut two large snowflakes from 140 pound watercolor paper and glued them together to give this bold design even more dimension. This large snowflake also works great for backgrounds too. Here I placed it up in the sky with a tone on tone color scheme in blue. It truly is one of those really versatile dies that works for both cute and elegant designs. And speaking of cute, take a look at this die set called Snowman Smile. I added just a touch of watercolors and inking to my snowman to give him a finished look and a tiny heart. I have to admit, a snowman and a heart really does make me smile. And coming up here is a second card idea with that exact same die. And I think this die looks great with whimsical and playful color schemes too, and I enjoyed embellishing him with some other die cut snowflakes. Next up is a peek at our creative die, Gingerbread Cottage. I began by painting it with Distress Ink Reinkers used as watercolors, and once dry, I added additional Distress Inks on top using an ink blending tool and a foam pad. I layered it onto a piece of inked cardstock, which added a golden glow to the windows and some color to the tiny wreath and the bow. This die set called Jingle Bells is another of my top faves. I just really love how realistic those bells look. I painted these with Distress Ink Reinkers used as watercolors. The little bow included in the set easily gives the bells a finished look. I think they'd also look cute if they were positioned with some twine as if they were hanging off the sentiment that's included in the set. And this creative die set, Joyful Ornaments, is very elegant and special. The bulb with the word joy is a unique way to add a sentiment to your card design, as I've done on my card here. But I can't wait to play with the other nature-inspired designs that are included. I think they look beautiful die cut in white with a very simple watercolor sky painted in the background. The solid bulb included makes it very easy to do this kind of layering. And here's another great layering set called Layered Stockings. I've kept with the classic color scheme, which is a tone-on-tone -tone look. But I think these would also look very striking with bright red and white or green and white layers with a lot of contrast. 
And I think this next reindeer die, which is called Inspired, is very elegant. He makes a great focal point on a holiday winter scene. I painted mine with Distress Ink reinkers used as watercolors. I had such fun embellishing his antlers with the little die cut bird. And if you look at the bird on the right, you will see that I die cut an extra set of antlers and just trim them a bit so that I could balance the design from the left to the right. When working with our layered poinsettia die, I found it added instant depth and dimension to my cards, and it really adds a wow factor and it's quite easy to work with. I cut mine from watercolor paper and then painted it. Once dry, I added just a touch of inking with Distress inks, and I really love the extra detail of the tiny center that is also included with this set. Here's another look at this same poinsettia. Here I've cut it from pattern papers from our new designer paper pad, and we will have more details on that paper pad coming very soon. Now, the next two dies I will be sharing with you have already gotten tons of use in my craft room. The first is Berry Branch. I love, love this die. The curve is great if you love making circular or oval elements on your cards. For all of my cards, I cut it from watercolor paper, painted it with Distress Ink Reinkers used as watercolors, and a brown marker was used to color in the branch section. And I wasn't kidding, I really have been using this die a lot. On the upper left hand corner, you can see I used it to embellish a stamped and painted scene. On the bottom left, I've given it a neutral look, keeping most of it white and just adding a small touch of painting with Gathered Twigs Distress Free Inker used as a watercolor. And on the right hand side, I painted one side of the leaves dark green and the other lighter green. And I trimmed and layered it a couple of times for even more fullness to the design. And this next die, Winter Branch, is also getting a pretty good workout in my die cutting machine. For this first card, I've kept things really simple and elegant, and I combined it with the layered poinsettia die and also a die cut sentiment. But here you can see I've used Winter Branch as a background element with some happy caroling kitties. It is simply die cut from white cardstock and layered onto a painted and inked background. And I was really happy with how the contrasting colors highlight the details of the branches on this card. And yes, here are just a few more places I've used this die. For the Critter card, I trimmed a few branches and added them alongside the hedgie. And this winter branch also looks beautiful along each side of the layered poinsettia die. And on the card on the right, I've added sections of the branch along the outer curve of the circular design. Thank you so much for tuning in today to take a peek at just a few of the new dies from our brand new Be Merry Holiday Collection. All of the new stamps, dies, and designer paper will be available in our online store beginning August 11th. Stay tuned here and on our blog for more sneak peeks, teasers, and a closer look at all of the new goodies, as well as card ideas for myself and other Penny Black designers. And if you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. You can also connect with Penny Black on our website, blog, Facebook page, on Instagram, Twitter, shop our online store, and see lots of card making tutorials here on our YouTube channel. I've linked to all of these in the YouTube description box below. Happy stamping!